Using the copy command is similar to using the move command, except it makes a duplicate of that object. In order to better reference this, let's go ahead and take a look at this on level two. So underneath the level two structural plans, we'll go ahead and open that up and we'll zoom in so we can see the different objects that we might want to make a copy of. In this case, I'll go ahead and move my mouse over this particular beam that's going across from between A and B. And perhaps I wanted to make two or three copies of it. Well, to do that, all you have to do is select on the beam, then move up to the copy command, which is up here. It looks like a circle, and then there's gonna be a couple more circles there. So go ahead and select on that. Next, and this is probably the thing that people most tend to overlook, is there's this little checkbox here that says multiple. Put a check in multiple. If you don't, it'll only allow you to make one copy, and we wanna make more than one. So once a check is put in multiple, we'll need to pick a base point. I always like to pick an edge whenever I'm doing the copy command. And the reason behind that is, is that it's a little bit easier to know where the next copy is gonna to go to. So go ahead and select right here. Next, move over toward the right-hand side. Now you can start to see where I mean by it's a little bit easier to tell where the next copy is gonna to go to because when I click here, it's gonna be the right-hand upper corner of this entity that's about to get created. So it's gonna match up with that corner that we just picked right there. So now we know the exact distance between the two different objects that we just copied, and we can continue to do that. And now the exact distance doesn't matter, but I've been placing them about five foot six inches apart. Now, if we zoom out and we can hit the escape key a couple of times to get out of the command, we can now see that we have three of them because we copied it two other times. If we wanna take a better look at it, we can move up here and there's this little house icon up at the top of the screen. It's the default 3D view. Go ahead and select on that and you can see all three copies that we just made. So in this exercise, we learned that instead of drawing items from scratch, if we have an object already exactly like it, we can use the copy command to create multiple unique items within our project.